Hey, it's Christina with Kapwing, and I've got a tutorial on how to make custom lower thirds. Like these. I'll show you how to add them to a video you're working on in Kapwing, and how to export them as a transparent PNG file. Lower thirds is an old TV industry term that means a graphic that goes in the lower third portion of the frame. Usually it's a person's name and title. This is really important to help your viewers know who's speaking and why they have the authority to say what they're saying. I'm gonna show you how to do it on our free online tool. Click on the link in the description and then hit get started. We're gonna start with a blank canvas. This is the Kapwing Editor Studio loaded with lots of robust tools. To get started, we need to bring in our footage. So click upload right here, drag and drop your files. Now, the simplest way to get your lower third in is by clicking here on text. Sample text will appear, pull it down to the bottom. I like to left justify it, so I click left justify here. And then, Christina Cercara, content strategies like Kapwing. I don't want any outline. I'd like that text to be white and bold. Now you can see it's a bit hard to read in this background. So I would go to effects up here and then add a drop shadow. All right, and when you're done, just click export right here and you'll be able to download it. Now I'm going to get to some more advanced style and editing techniques that are really important for making your lower thirds look right. Uh, but before that, I'm going to quickly show you how to export your lower third as a PNG file. So I'm gonna start a new project here and I just started with a blank canvas. So since I didn't upload any footage, it's not a video, it's just a still image. And I'm gonna make it black just for right now so I can see it. Let me just go ahead and mock one up real quick. And right now I have a black background just so I can see what I'm working with, but I can click this button right here under background color. And this um, icon means it's like an alpha transparent background. That checkered pattern means it'll export clear. So when I'm all done, I say export image, and this is what it's going to look like. So I can download it and you'll see it's going to download as a PNG file, which means it can be transparent. Now I'm gonna show you some more stylistic ways of adding lower thirds. Personally, I don't love a drop shadow. I feel like that looks a little bit outdated, but uh, one way to get around that is to increase the blur of the drop shadow. So it's not a hard line, it's just kind of a softer area behind it. You can increase the distance so it's farther or closer away, depending on how you want it. You can also change your color. If you had a really dark background, a white shadow might actually be really nice. I'm gonna stick with black. Now I wanna animate our lower third and also adjust the timing. So click on your text and then go to animate up in the corner here. And then you have a few different options. I'm going to do fade, but you could do drop in Pop in, slide up, a lot of options. Click in this gray area to get back to your main menu settings. And now we need to adjust the time. So go to open timeline down here. And you'll see that the text was made the exact same length as your video, which we don't want. So just pull on these corners on the edges and then drag them and shrink your text a little bit. So now it'll look like this. Ah, lovely. To get back to the studio, you can say back to studio or done. So this is like your most basic, but frankly, I don't love it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create two separate text cards. So I'm gonna delete that text. I'm gonna duplicate that. So hit duplicate down here. You can shrink your text by just pulling on these little tabs on the side. I'm gonna put that underneath. I like to adjust the weight, so make the second line maybe thinner, and try making it italics. It's still hard to read because this background is so blurry, so there's a few different techniques. One of my favorites and simplest is to add a gradient background, and you can do this on your own. You can download a gradient, uh, make your own in Photoshop, but the easiest way, I think, is to just go to images here. If I search black gradient transparent, I will get all these different things and I'm specifically looking for one like this where it looks like the top dissolves into the to this gray background. So that's a good one. That might be the one I go with. Yeah, let's use this one. Now I need to resize it. And then I'm gonna send it back. So it's between, if you'll notice the gradient is between my video layer and my two text layers. So this is what it looks like with it on and with it off. 
so much nicer, isn't it? You can also add background to the text. Over here under text background color, you can pick like this purple. It's gonna be as big as this box is, so I'm gonna shrink that up a bit. And then you can make this one, I don't know, a lighter color purple. That looks pretty cute. Let me show you another technique. Go up here to elements, pick out a square. I'm gonna make it more opaque so the text kind of goes through. I'm gonna send it behind my text layers. And I'm gonna copy and paste that box. I'm gonna make this one full. So up, increase the opacity to 100. And then under fill color, I'm gonna click, I'm gonna make it transparent. This is like an alpha, which means it's transparent. So I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna give it a vibrant outline by clicking outline color and then increasing the width. So it looks like that. And then you can kind of tighten it up a little bit, get in there a little bit closer. All right. And when you are done, go up here to export video. Hit export video. Uh-oh, look, I made a mistake. So I added these box layers, but I didn't go back and edit the duration of them in the timeline. So I need to go back and edit, get back into the timeline. See these rectangles, they were automatically made the length of the whole video, so I have to go back and shrink them. I also am going to want to add transitions onto these rectangles. So go to animate, fade, and then animate, fade. There we go, so now it's all smooth. Now we're done, now we say export video. All right, here we go, it's looking cute. So when you are ready, just hit download. If you need to go back, make <laughs> edits like I did, go there. I was logged in my personal account, so I don't have the Kapwing watermark at the bottom, but if you do, you just, you'll just you see a little button here that lets you log in to get rid of it. You just need an account, it's still free, but logging in gets rid of that watermark. So I'm gonna hit download and then I'm all done. Leave your questions in the comment section and I'll see you in my next video.